we can go ahead then. Over to you, Patrick. Thanks, Sonny. <clears throat> well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, for today's webinar, how to enable intelligent warehouse management with SAP, RFID, and barcoding. My name is Pat Ouellette, and I run sales for North America for Crave. Before we get started, just some quick housekeeping. We do have the Q&A and chat features enabled if you should have any questions for our speakers during the webinar. We'll also be launching a couple of polls, uh, invite you to participate by selecting responses when they appear on your screen. At the conclusion of the presentation, uh, we will have a Q&A session uh, to answer any additional questions you may have. Uh, we'll also be receive, you uh, will also be receiving a recording of the session as well. Before I hand it off, uh, let me just do some quick introductions. So if you want to, uh, yep, thank you. Um, so with us today, uh, I've got Ben Welser. He's uh, Ben Wessler, sorry, uh, channel partner at Zebra Technologies. And I also have Milan Chaudhry, uh, Director of Enterprise Applications at Crave Infotech. Uh, next slide. So we got a packed agenda. Um, I'll just cover a couple of these topics here. So uh, why intel we'll cover uh, why intelligent warehouse management. Uh, we'll also cover warehouse maturity curve and help you identify where your organization is and where you wanna go. Uh, we'll also be talking about how SAP mobile solutions and Zebra hardware can empower you to advance through the maturity curve resulting in better business outcomes. We'll also talk about how to enable warehouse uh, your warehouse with barcoding or RFID. Then we'll spend a little bit of time uh, how RF enabled mobile applications can increase ROI. And then at the end, uh, we'll wrap it up with some next generation of warehousing and touch on uh, forklift integration, indoor mapping and geofencing. Uh, next slide. So just a quick uh, little blurb about uh, Crave. Uh, we were founded back in 2007, so we've been around 15 years. We have several partnerships, uh, specifically with SAP and Zebra Technologies. And our core focus is on helping customers in the digital supply chain, warehouse management, intelligent asset management space uh, to achieve greater business outcomes. So now um, I would like to hand it off to Milland. Uh, Milland, it's all yours if you wanna to go to the next slide. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Battery. So let Linda, me share my... share us? Yeah. Yes, sure. yes, I will share my screen. I think you have disabled the screen sharing, uh, Sunny. Uh, just try now, Milan. I think it's working. Yes, yes, now. Body for that. Share. Yes, I am able to share. Okay, uh, so this is uh, uh, I am going to present you uh, the warehouse management solution, the SAP barcoding RFID. Uh, so let me share uh, my screens in PPT mode. Okay, so this is typically a warehouse. So left hand side, this portion, uh, we are talking about warehouse. So whenever we are talking about warehouse, uh, we have inbound and outbound operations. We have internal operations like you know cycle counting or internal transfer, printing. We have the production warehouse whereby the goods are produced in a plant. And we have the distribution warehouse that is sales and distribution warehouse uh, where the produced goods are sold to the customers, uh, dispatched to the customers. And we have the storage and operation. So all the business processes are hovering around a Crave warehouse mobile solution. So here it's a Crave comes into picture. So we have end-to-end -end warehouse solution uh, for all the process, no matter whether it is inbound, outbound, or production. So if you have SAP ECC systems implemented, and you have also the warehouse management system as a part and parcel of the SAP ECC, we have the mobile solution to implement that. 
if you have s4 hana on premises where you have the wm warehouse management system or you have the embedded ewm uh, systems uh, which is a you know out of the box capability of the sap s4 hana on premises we have a solution for the crave warehouse uh, mobile solution if you have the sap hana on cloud we have no constraints and limitation that we do not have the solution so we have a solution for all the end to end sap erp integration for ecc as for hana on cloud or on premises and uh, we use a mobile applications so these are the mobile application we will talk more on that in next slide okay so this is for the voice active order picking so what i am basically trying to focus is intelligent warehouse management so what is intelligent warehouse management so whereby the warehouse operator doesn't have to use his brain the technology is integrated intelligent uh, earlier there used to be a paper based picking uh, which is replaced with the electronic system now like handheld device or barcoding qr coding scanning so there is a paradigm shift from paper based picking to the mobile solution so voice picking uh, voice order picking is one of the examples we also visit the warehouse and then find out the problems uh, like if there are uh, you know the internet uh, signals are uh, interfering each other then we visit the warehouse and sort out the issues if uh, for example rfid where to mount the antennas so there uh, we visit the warehouse and resolve the issues as far as the picking part concern there are various picking uh, methodology like pick by voice as i said earlier uh, hand free picking now this guy is uh, the picking uh, using a smart glasses so pick by visions or smart glasses so one look one stare one pick with uh, both hand free and he can easily pick up the materials and keep it into the good issue area uh, so he is wearing the smart glasses uh so what are the advantages so speed precision accuracy flexibility is high picking available to promise is guaranteed so these are some of the uh, advantages we also have uh, integration with uh, uh, forklift uh, by using a rfid uh, using a rfid tag so in next slide uh, we'll talk more on that uh so rfid uh, barcodes and then you know indoor mapping and geo fencing so these are some of the characteristics these are the mobile solution and the use cases so we have implemented our warehouse solutions in uh, one of the multinational and his operation is along uh, 19 countries with 39 locations and our solution they are uh, using this uh, our warehouse applications and it is rolling out country by country so there are advantage like 100% paperless no paper required because everything is using a mobile device so these are the mobile device so you can have the ipad you can have the mobile literally this is a mobile uh, device and we have the scanning capability you can scan it scan the barcode and all the operation comes out with this mobile device this is uh, rf gun Now, those who are using the warehouse management might be using uh, that so 80 percent reduction in total cost of ownership and 80 percent efficiency in production 30 percent increase in the productivity these are some some of the advantages this is another success story of one of the pharmaceutical company where we implemented uh, intelligent warehouse management But the basic challenge is was uh, high operation and inventory carrying cost because uh, these are the mro spare parts so all the spare parts uh you know they, they they were not kept in proper ways all the helter skelter so what we did we implemented our warehouse management solution and uh, uh, just by uh, clicking on this uh, scanning the barcode you know, the warehouse operator gets everything what is the purchase order number good receipt number who has performed this operation what is the date uh, so everything comes just mere uh, just scan this uh, qr code and i will also i am going to show you the demo on that uh, how we can you know uh, identify where exactly the material is and the benefit uh, what they received is the reduced the operation cost optimized inventories and uh, manual efforts uh, also reduces this is another example so adani agri fresh limited is a subsidiary of one of the largest global conglomerate of adani group 
and the challenges they are facing uh, was you know the uh, the crate was allocated to the farmers and the farmer used to pick up the fruits from that crate but there was no mechanism of tracking how many crate has been assigned how many trick uh, crate has been you know uh, emptied how many trick crates are uh, missing so there were no uh, mechanism uh, no real time visibility of warehouse crate inventory and we implemented our rf solution our uh, rfid solution so uh, we uh, you know uh, use rfid tag so whenever we are talking about, about the rfid which has the rfid tag which is attached to the object uh, which is active uh, which has own power supply which emit the signals and passive which has no power supply we also have the antenna on the rfid uh, it receives the stored data from the tags and transmit to uh, a reader which emits the radioactive wave and the reader which receives the data uh, using a handheld device fix or non handheld device and in the database we compile and evaluate the data uh, so uh, this is the effective solution so uh, i'm going to share you another screen to give you a, a rough idea about how this uh, rfid happened so this is a truck and this is a tag which is uh, there on a the truck uh, active or passive and continuously scanning these okay after scan scanning this truck will move okay and the data will get captured and uh, attached to the delivery document uh, inbound delivery or outbound delivery whatever the case may be so this is what the truck scanning and rfid works i will show you now the quick demo of uh, how we can resolve the uh, warehouse operators uh, pain areas how they can use the mobile device so whenever we are talking about the mobile device uh, we have uh, many application prepackaged application in supply chain area uh, no matter whether it is asset management approvals everywhere we have the uh, fury launch pad or the pre package application for example warehouse management demo data if, if you want uh, the inventory management data then we have the good receive reversals returns and all the attacks so user can simply go into the good receive and then perform all the operation he has to just scan the purchase order then he will get everything Okay. if user says that this uh, uh, you know the user interface or this screen design is not proper then uh, we can have another design for him so it's basically user selected and customizable okay if user says that you know uh, there are various operations inbound outbound and our where also predicate confused so no no problem we have the inbound outbound physical so all the business processes are club into that for example the inbound we have this good receive good reversals stand put away etc so this is also the design and outbound is all the good issue to production or the sales order physical inventory internal transfer so various steps uh, as far as the warehouse management part concerned uh, we also have the uh, applications of the dwms d4 uh, c uh, c uh, the c4 crave okay so user has to you know enter his username and passwords and log in to screens and here he will get everything so print reprint so just to show you one example uh, suppose a good receipt has been done and uh, the uh, warehouse operator uh, wants to take the print out how will you do that he will use his uh, our application now he has a mobile device so no problem we have a solution for that so he can it can take shape of uh, any mobile device see if he is using uh, you know ipad mini it will take the shape of ipad if he is using some other mobile applications iphones or uh, something else surface pro 7 he will take the uh, it will take that shape of that also the screen uh, can be configurable and uh, all the parameters that print reprint and etc everything will comes in the mobile device so for the sake of simplicity i am showing you the screen for example if the warehouse operator want to print it good receipt has happens and he will get all the list of good receipt good receipt numbers blah blah this two atom number 1 2 so what warehouse operator do to uh, take the print out just click on that and then uh, he can see uh, the size of uh, the uh, th th this is basically the qr code he will be able to see the material number po number etc everything 
and uh, if he wants to print it then he can just click on print label gets printed that's it so earlier he has two good receipts now when he clicked on print it that good receipt documents uh, has been removed from his uh, uh, no, his device so that he will not reprint again for example now he ha it has one atom so he can click and print it yes now nothing is assigned to him it means supervisor assign the workload to the user and user take the printout suppose there is a problems in the printout no problem he can take the reprint and he can choose the reprint reason uh, why the uh, he is taking the uh, reprint because of the page alignment issues or something else you can just take the reprint so this way the print reprint options uh, is available for the user and not only that but we have another the good issue to reservation good issue to order bin to bin transfer the user has one bin and if you want to transfer the material from one bin to another bin he can use this option good issue against the order sales order is created or stock transfer order is created and if he wants to uh, issue the good then he can select that because reservation created in the background and he will get the list of reservations or list of orders he has to just click it enter the material scan bin etc and uh, uh, he will get the result uh, last but not being uh, uh, last but not least uh, where exactly the material the warehouse is big enough where exactly my material is how can I uh, trace the materials? So here is the screen, customize screen. He can select the bin, go to the bin, and uh, you know he can scan the bin. Okay, let's see. He has scanned the bin. Okay. And if he wants to know what exactly the bin contains, he will scan the material. And he will get everything material number so in a warehouse by carrying only the handheld device by scanning the beings or by scanning the material he will get all the inventory where exactly the material no no uh, need to go to the systems and log into the system user id password etc nothing everything is available on the single uh, two or just three clicks so this is the warehouse feature uh, so from this, I would like to hand over to a pen. Uh, Sunny, you can take the control. Yep, I think we're going to oh. launch a quick poll here. So Sunny, do you want to launch the poll real quick? Yeah. Do you want to take uh, a couple minutes? Sure. So we'll just, so I have launched the poll question, Patrick. Okay. And while uh, folks are doing that, um, you can go to the next slide and Ben can start his yep. portion. Ben? Thanks, Sonny. Thanks, Patrick. Um, nice to meet everyone. Thanks for joining the presentation today. Um, happy to be uh, a part of one of our great, uh, be able to support one of our great channel partners in Crave. Um, and hopefully what you saw from them today, um, we kind of help round out the overall solution for, for you and your customers um, with the hardware um, solutions to help you continue to grow. And no matter where you are on the warehouse maturity model, um, help, you, help support you across that path. So today I'll be highlighting a few things um, in supply chain, the different changes and complexities and challenges that we're facing today as well as take a deeper dive into the warehouse maturity model. Um, no matter where you are today, um, we have actionable steps that you can take um, wherever you are in your warehouse modernization journey. Um, next slide, please, Sonny. So I'm not sure if you have the poll popped up or not, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little highlight into things you probably already know, which is the supply chain challenges and complexities. Um, and how customer demands are helping drive the increased need um, for continued changes within your warehouse, whether it's returns, whether it's um, rush orders, um, really 
in the last two to three years, um, the needs for change and the need to increase technology in these areas has only been exacerbated due to kind of the growth areas and customers ever changing demands. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick snapshot. Um, next slide, please, Sonny. <clears throat> So as we're discussing, warehouse is facing several challenges in today's market, such as increasing uncertainty, um, the unpredictability of inventory and availability, um, depending on the industry you serve, um, and the changing customer service expectations, um, and the kind of the surge of e-commerce and omni-channel fulfillment, and also the customer expectations are rapidly changing. Um, so as, as you guys all know, uh, Amazons of the world, even, even Walmart and targets, um, they can deliver to your door same day, two day delivery. And that's really changing the way the, the end customer, the consumers, um, are growing to deal with and expectations of deliveries. And that's the only way to combat that and to, to be able to best serve your customers, um, is getting real time inventory counts and being able to analyze your data, um, and react to, to customers' new and ever-changing demands. <clears throat> uh, next slide, please, Sunny. So if you take a quick look at this, um, this chart, um, it's, it's pretty alarming. Everything is well over the, the 65 percentile as far as implementing new processes and technologies, uh, increasing volumes and orders. Uh, and part of that is, is due to COVID and the ever-changing dynamics of more and more um, customers that never used to purchase things online in the past and kind of the doing away of brick and mortar stores is really allowing and putting a lot of pressure on supply chain operations and warehouse and how they're fulfilling orders and where they're delivering these orders to has, has only been grown um, and is continuing to be the biggest challenge um, that we've noticed for our customers over the next three to five years. Um, and Zebra has a lot of different solutions partnered with Crave to help kind of help you navigate through this warehouse maturity model um, in the broadest portfolio across the industry, anything from RFID to automated mobile robots that we'll talk about later. Um, Zebra really has invested um, over half a billion a year in research and development, specifically around devices and technology that can help enable your workforce to be more connected and allow you to get the data needed to make those uh, integral business decisions. Um, next slide, please, Sonny. So to move your warehouse operations forward, synchronizing these three important facets will be essential. Um, I know Crave talked quite a bit around the warehouse management systems. Um, your physical automation and the heart of your worker and workflow operations are really the three main points that you need to target and they need to work cohesively um, in order for the, this, um, this kind of technology evolution to continue to be successful. So getting critical asset, getting better visibility into your tire operations, whether it's through data capture and analytics um, and action-based data-driven insights that help increase productivity and efficiency of your workers. Um, we at Zebra here, we refer to, to capturing that data as, as kind of sense, analyze, and act. Um, and I'll go into a little, a little more deeper on that here shortly. Um, next slide, please, Sunny. So taking a quick look at the holistic view of the warehouse maturity model. Um, this gives you visibility into your inventory, depends on your ability to capture inventory move at every level and ideally take the right action that keeps fulfillment moving continuously forward. Um, and taking a look at this is kind of a quick, easy way for you to identify where you're at in your journey. Do you have the right technology in place to easily and intuitively capture the inventory moves? Um, and help you make the right data-driven decisions. So with Zebra's uh, strategic maturity model, you can gain the ability to implement the right technology at the right time in your modernization journey. Um, for the most foundational hardware and software in phase one, um, that's really giving you guys access to your warehouse management systems, uh, enabling it with basic technologies like mobile computing, barcode scanning, printing, um, and even expanding that into wearable voice and software technologies um, that optimize the use um, of your mo mobile devices. Um, in phase two, 
um, is really around RFID and fixed industrial scanning and sensors that help you automate data capture um, versus a work a worker pulling a trigger, um, the ability to capture things in larger loads, such as an entire pallet moving through an RFID portal or an itemized thing rolling down a conveyor system. Um, really the ability to track the inventory and every step in the warehouse to the delivery um, gives you that real-time visibility. Um, kind of what we categorize as phase three is the broad use of real-time location systems and software solutions like SAP offers. Um, um, through Crave that orchestrate widespread use of real-time visibility of anything from people to robotics um, to key work assets, um, the ability to track and know where anything that's needed on a day-to-day -day basis is. Um, what we categorize as, as phase four is optimizing warehouse flows for cost, speed, and efficiency, um, and finally the use of intelligent automation. Um, and lastly, phase five, um, we help you make the most of the vast amount of data that you hopefully would have collected along this journey to achieve predictive um, and adaptive operations across your entire warehouse uh, and beyond the four walls as well. Uh, next slide, Sunny. So this is kind of just a zoomed in look at the warehouse modernization um, maturity model um, that just provides you with a strategic framework for navigating um, through your modernization journey, um, no matter where you are in the path uh, towards updating your warehouse. Um, this is a quick view of the roadmap that helps transition at a pace that, that works best for your business. Because as we all know, um, certain businesses are being impacted different than others um, and are being driven by who your competitors are in the workspace. So no matter where you are in the journey, um, we can kind of help you navigate through those five aforementioned phases um, th that'll help you result in a more effective workhorse. Um, next slide, please, Sonny. <clears throat> so kind of taking it even a step further, looking at, at phase one, which I would say still, this is where a large majority um, of warehouses and our customers are. It's, it's really just the first step of enabling their workers um, with mobile devices and printing solutions to be able to capture barcodes at an inventory level. And, and really where you start getting into phase two um, is where you start seeing the larger increases in productivity up to 24% more orders picked in a day um, using the right mix of technologies um, and software solutions to help with picking, packing, um, and improves the productivity of your workers. Because um, as I, I mentioned previously, one of the biggest challenges the industry is seeing is, is one, the labor shortage that's out there and two, turnover of warehouse employees. So enabling your employees with the right technology is also proven to help retain employees. It makes them more effective. Um, it kind of takes them away from doing the day-to-day -day repetitive tasks that really can be automated um, to help help make sure that your employees are doing more meaningful, more cost, bottom line cost actionable items for, for your business. As we look at phase three, this is where we target real-time visibility, and that's eliminating the manual scanning for pallet picking. So whether that's going through an RFID portal, um, whatever that might be, it's the ability for you to capture, um, capture that data on a much larger scale um, to increase visibility into your operations. And kind of looking at phase four and phase five, um, that's really when we look at the introduction of AMRs. Um, as you, I'm sure you guys have seen, robots have been around for, for quite some time, um, but the changes in technology have really allowed you to create custom workflows. It's, it's much more cost effective to roll these um, AMR and these robotics out to operations. And really depending on the size of a warehouse, um, we've seen ROIs as quickly as six months, especially for employees that are doing more repetitive, longer distance walking tasks. Um, really implementing these technologies can be a, a quick, quick um, return on investment um, as you continue to grow. Um, next slide, please, Sonny. So this is a little bit around just Zebra's process um, and how we can help support you along this journey. So Zebra's process is built around your business needs today and really around your goals for tomorrow. So us with partnered with a partner like Crave, um, we will 
work with you to identify where you're at in this journey and help you get where you need to be. So we'll listen to the specific challenges that are impacting you and your business specifically um, and advise on the best path forward, um, leaning on our broad portfolio as well as extensive real-time experience in the industry. Um, and next would be just our vast network of global partners um, like Crave to collaborate with you and design and implement a custom complete solution targeted at your needs, including software solutions um, and support at every step of your journey. So you never have to worry about um, where you are in the journey. We're here to help you integrate, deploy, train, and, and serve your staff on a, on a daily basis. So um, next, next slide quick, Sunny. So I won't spend too, too much time here, but here's a just a quick little snapshot of Zebra's portfolio. Um, if you're not familiar with Zebra today, I'm, I'm sure you if you go walk around any warehouse, you'll you'll see a lot of these technology items. So anywhere from our industry leading mobile computers um, to wearables to help increase um, pick and pack um, our rugged tablets, um, our ultra rugged scanners, and obviously our, our broadest fleet of printers in the market, anything from desk drop to industrial uh, printers that can run on a 24 seven operation, as well as mobile printers to empower um, your workers to be able to, to print on the go. And lastly would be touching on the RFID and the fixed industrial scanning sensors and, and location technologies. Uh, next slide, please. So we at Zebra, one of our biggest differentiators is, is we're not just software. Um, really, when Zebra a few years back made the move to fully invest in, in Android is really what allowed us to be able to adapt and grow this suite of products um, that come standard with any Zebra device you'd purchase. Whether it's a mobile computer or on mobility DNA um, that gives your computers a new breed of intelligence, all the way down to our print DNA on printers where you can see everything down to... Um, how much media is running through that printer in a, in a given day, in a given month, in a given year um, to help you better forecast and make the adaptable decisions on the amount of media you're purchasing, when to purchase to keep your operations running, um, all the way down to the ability if one of your customers has or if someone out there on the call has a competitive Zebra product and they're looking to, to refresh older technology, um, we also can get any Zebra printer to operate like a majority of our competitors. So for, for example, if you've spent a lot of time and resources on Intermec printers or use IPL printer language, um, we can change that Zebra printer to act and operate in the exact same manner. So as far as integration, it's a much easier um, deployment of moving to Zebra if, if you're new to the Zebra portfolio. Uh, next slide, please, Sonny. Here's a quick snapshot of one of Zebra's latest acquisitions. As we continue on this warehouse modernization journey, we realized the need um, that our customers were asking for, and that was around automated mobile robots. And we acquired Fetch. Um, so we now, all, as well as the broadest um, hardware offering, we now um, offer the largest portfolio of AMRs in the marketplace today. Um, all six of these robots can be customized um, and like I said, it's, it's a fairly quick turnaround. I won't spend too much time on the AMRs because I know it's kind of a new emerging topic, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Crave team or myself. We'd be more than happy to give you more insight as to what vertical you're in today and how these robots are being used. Uh, next slide, please, Sonny. And this is just kind of the, the quick kind of, I don't want to call it the zebra brag slide, but why customers work with Zebra. Um, we're, we're number one pretty much in everything that we do from mobile computing to, to data capture, which is the uh, squeeze and beep scanners, the barcode printing to mobile RFID. Um, and we're actually the, in the leader status for Gardner's Magic Quadrant for indoor location services as well. So this is, this is something Zebra um, lives and breathes every single day. Um, like I said, from a research and development standpoint, Zebra pours over a half a million dollars a year annually. Um, into developing purpose-driven devices um, to help meet whatever needs you need. Uh, next slide. Just a quick snapshot on Zebra's reach. Um, actually, this, this slide's probably a year or two outdated. So we're, we're over 5 billion in, in global sales annually at this point across 100 plus offices across 45 countries. 
Um, the largest amount of patents of any of our competitors and over 8,200 employees worldwide. Um, next slide, Sonny. Uh, yep, and I think that wraps it up for me. So I yeah, think so we'll open funny. up. I think uh, I'll pass oh, it over to you, Patrick and Sonny. <clears throat> yeah, so Sonny, do you want to open it up for um, the last poll here and then we'll open it up for questions? Sure. Just doing that. <clears throat> so we'll give you a couple minutes for this and then um, we'll open it up for questions. So if you want to type in your questions to the Q&A or chat. Um, for our speakers and Those questions come through, I think, Sonny, as well on the next slide. I think we also have contact information. Um, so if you want to learn more, please reach out to Patrick. Um, even if it's more along the, the Zebra side, um, Patrick and, and I and the entire Crave team we work extremely closely together, um, and they can help connect us. Yeah, thanks, Ben. So and just a reminder, um, we'll be sending out the uh, link to the um, recording. Uh, we'll leave the polls open for a little bit longer. And then um, again, if you have any questions or follow up, uh, if you want to set up a additional meeting, please feel free to reach out and we'll definitely um, follow up. I think there is one question, Patrick, from Caroline. Are Zebra solution uh, implemented with several different uh, warehouse management solution? Ben, this is, I think this is for you. Yep, no, I can answer that. Um, yes, we, we integrate with virtually all WMS um, systems. So, um, and that's part of why we lean on great partners like Crave. Um, they help with that integration piece. But yes, as far as your WMS system, um, we do have the ability to integrate with, um, um, I guess I haven't ran into a WMS we haven't been able to integrate with in the past is the best way to answer that. And we have another question. What type of integration have Zebra with SAP? I think Milan, you can answer that. Yes, of course. Uh, we have the Zebra printer, uh, so uh, you can fire the printout from the SAP and then uh, uh, with the Zebra printer, uh, we can have the printout. Uh, as far as the mobile device concerned, uh, the Ben has uh, explained you various mobile devices. So we have iPad, uh, we have the mobile uh, devices for scanning. Uh, so everything will be backend connected to SAP. I can also mm -hmm. add to that uh, if you allow, Sunny. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, we are we are uh, probably one of the uh, very few partners who have developed plugins uh, because SAP uses cross cross platform UI technology like Fury and UI five, and uh, uh, so that needs specialized plugins to communicate with printers, scanners. Uh, RFID and Crave Infotech has developed all those plugins. If you are using Fury or uh, uh, UI5 or any cross platform, uh, Accelerator, Flutter, uh, and we have developed those plugins so that uh, SAP can integrate um, or uh, communicate with uh, all the Zebra peripheral devices effectively.
Thank you, Shikan. I think Nathan uh, has raised his hand. Uh, so Nathan, would you like to ask a question you have? Yes, um, my name is Nathan. Um, I work in uh, Hima Cement, uh, Uganda. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my question is uh, from the warehouse coordinator. Uh, this side, uh, our kind of arrangement in the warehouse is uh, we receive uh, trucks with cement and then we offload it on on, on the pallet um, uh, on the ground. However, picking it from the ground to the truck, we use uh, people and as well as uh, from the truck to the pallet, we use people. Uh, which uh, which kind of uh, system can I use uh, to avoid the manual handling that I have? Thank you. Not sure I caught all that. Ben, did you? Um, I, I think I caught that they're trying to, and I apologize if I didn't catch the whole question, Nathan, we can definitely take this offline as well, but it sounded like you were trying to eliminate the manual process of capturing pallets as they're leaving the warehouse into trucks or moving to another location, I think was the challenge you're looking to overcome. Um, and yes, I mean, that can be enabled in a number of different ways. If you don't want um, an employee to scan each individual pallet or barcode, really RFID would most likely be the technology um, that I would recommend. And we have fixed overhead readers. Um, Zebra recently um, acquired the SLS portals as well. Um, so we have fixed portals to be able to capture inventory as it's moving in and out of a warehouse um, as well at the pallet level. Um, and even at all the way down to the itemized level, if, if, if that's something that's um, of interest to you. So hope that answered the question. If I didn't miss, if I didn't catch it fully, Nathan, feel free to, to reach out and we can definitely get you a better answer. Uh, thank you. Uh, question well answered. And there's one more question we have. Where can we get the Zebra RFID plugins for SAP Fiori integration? Shrikant, would you like to take that? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we'll be happy to. Sunny, you can take the uh, details and we can have a follow up conversation. Okay, it's an anonymous attendee. Uh, could you please share your uh, details or, or to Patrick or me? Or he, they can type here, uh, yeah. yeah, one on one, and in, then we can get in touch with. 